this rigging tutorial I'm gonna explain how I do uh, the rigs for the tails so for this um, for this uh, tutorial I'm gonna use the chain spring some uh, controls and the M gear rope tool that we have another video explaining how it works so first I'm gonna create my um, my base tail so I'm gonna create a chain spring spring or my nice accent it's uh, giving me troubles okay so here I'm gonna call this tail and yeah that's all the options I'm gonna set for the moment so why we need to do this with the rope and the others controls well first thing it's probably you want to have some sort of FK and IK system on the uh, to, to make a nice profile or a nice uh, deformation on the tail that's one thing the other thing it's you don't want to add like 100 FK controls here so you have a very round and nice deformation you you want to keep this very simple like what I did here like four controls and then when you bend uh, you want the round round deformation but you don't want that the um, um, detail uh, I mean keeps like a straight line so let me show you this quickly with uh, I'm gonna build now with my shortcut that we just set it in another video F7 and or you can push uh, build from selection if you don't have the shortcut or so hotkey sorry my it's hotkey not shortcut okay so um yeah so basically if we just gonna hide this so we don't have too much cluttering there um so if we have this tail and we don't smooth a lot we're gonna have one straight two three four and if we do the um like if we do too much smoothing we're gonna lose kind of the control so it's not nice so I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna create the uh, controls that gonna support this uh, rope so I'm just gonna call this tail tweak and I'm gonna check the options here so I want join and I uh, uniform scale it's okay world space orientation it's okay for the tutorial but probably you want to check that later on your on your rig and I'm gonna use circle and cable everything and don't need the reference array so okay that's that's enough so I'm just gonna scale this okay here we are I was using this soft image shortcuts <laughs> Okay, um, so we're gonna duplicate. I'm gonna use my uh, my hotkey here, Control D, that um, I said it in another video. So I say, but you can use this if you don't um, you don't have this hotkey, and don't use the duplicate from uh, Maya, the default one, because it's gonna mess with the naming and everything. It's gonna break the the guide. So I'm just gonna use the the interface. So I'm just gonna do one two three I'm placing it here because um, I just want to be sure that uh, you see the position right there I'm gonna align with the, the the other player and I'm gonna do one last th uh, control here and I explain you later why so you're gonna you're gonna understand so um, I'm just gonna reparent. This is normal parenting from Maya. So I'm just select this, this parent, this parent, and this one also here. Uh, um, maybe no. I'm gonna put it there. Parent. So this is now parented. So now I'm just gonna select all these things and just uh, reset the translation. I don't care about the scaling. It's not needed. And here I'm gonna use my my shortcut Control Shift. Uh, R like soft image and just gonna offset a little bit here it's not really important how much but just a little bit okay so we have these tweaks ready and now I'm gonna build one more time because I want to use the um, the joints as a reference for the uh, curve that I'm gonna snap on top and because uh, Maya cannot start snap on the center of uh, curve objects that's something uh, I missed from soft image 
Anyway, so stop complaining and let's continue. Um, I'm gonna isolate this, so just pushing this button and I'm gonna activate my snap on center and create um, curve, CV curve tool. I'm gonna start from the base or the root of the tail to the tip. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, enter. And it should be there. Yes, it's there. Nice. I'm gonna rename this curve like curve um, uh, control. I'm just gonna duplicate this one and I'm just gonna call this uh, curve a vector. Now here um, we need to choose where to put the vector. So it depends how we flex the, the tail. Obviously the vector the, of this system have some limitations. So in this case, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna use, um, whoop, wrong shortcut. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna use the, um, just activate this, the vector in the side. So, we can flex nicely in this direction or the other, but probably it has some limitations when you curve on the side. And I'm just gonna fix quickly also the the orientation of this sh uh, control shape. So I'm just gonna select this rotation and the rotation. I'm gonna check that it's on the object center. And now with the J for this grid, oops. Did I? Okay. Okay, it's, I'm using scaling. I'm super wise. Rotate from center. Okay, now. J for discrete rotation. Okay, here's it. Just go back to object mode and I'm gonna extract this. So next time I, um, I build, I have a buffer controls uh, shape here, store, so I don't need to rotate any again. Okay, so that's it for the um, basic um, or the initial setup. I'm just gonna, uh, well, indeed, I don't need to delete this. I think it's good to continue with that. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, um, check here my my joints. I'm just gonna use only the tail tweaks to skin the uh, the curve so i'm just selecting all the the joints i want to use select one of the curves and uh, let's move to rigging skin bind skin let's check the options so i don't want the i want only the selected joints i want the closest on distance uh, classic linear uh, interactive that's okay distance that's okay allow multiple binds okay this just one because i want each point 100 percent to uh each join so one it's it's good and uh, max influence i don't need it remove no i don't need it colorize i don't need it okay so just apply this and repeat the operation for the other one apply so if this is uh, done properly i should see moving this curve there and this it's gonna be on the tip there so that's great so this is what we want now i'm gonna create a little cylinder that it's gonna represent the the tail i'm just gonna make it okay around uh, around there and one thing here is um I did create this thing here that is an extra but I I just I should did this uh, before but let's say the tail is around here so this is the, the extreme and this is just a kind of a buffer space so when basically what we're gonna do is when we curve the the um, 
the tail, we don't want that the tail stretch or compress. So this is going to be the, the buffer space for that. And um, before I do this, I'm just going to put this closer here. I mean, this is many ways to do it. You don't need to do it like this, but this is one way to do it. So now I'm just going to close this and I'm going to create the um, the rope itself. So I'm just going to call this rope tail. And this is the good thing now. So I'm going to use 25 the uh, joints here. I'm, I'm going to activate the keep position based on radio. So select my control, select my uh, vector and build. And this one, as you can see, because I have the, the rig, but default it try to, to set everything there. It's going to create this, um, this chain. Um, I'm just going to hide this with many joints and this one, oops. So if I move this, you see the tail is bending nicely, but the length, you see the length stays the same all the time. So this is what we are looking for. So we don't want this stretchy tail on a dog. We want the a fixed length. And now I, I have this buffer that I can put it to zero again. So you see now when I stretch here, the tail doesn't get longer. And you can see here, I'm just gonna, for the um, example purpose, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna hide this one. So we only see the joints on the, that are the, the final deformers. I can close this also. And now if I bend using my uh, um, FK controls, you can see the, the bend, it's round, but also you can see here, up to here, you see it's it's reaching the, the buffer position that we, we was storing before. And obviously, if it's shorter than this, it's going to compress the tail. We don't want that. And if it's not enough, just pull it out. And because it, this is attached with this, also help you to control the tip of the of the tail. So good stuff. Um, let me select here the set members and reset the positions. And just for the sake of the example, I'm gonna skin quickly the uh, details. So I just need to add more divisions. Oop, not this one. So divisions. There we go. And um, delete my type history. And now I select all my joints. Select my tail and uh, boop, 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 skin and just gonna gonna crank this a little bit okay should be enough so here is it we have our tail that have these fk uh, controls and also um, the ik and because it's uh, an fk i mean a spring chain a spring we can activate this just gonna put this a little soft here. Oops, that's probably too much, but yeah, here is the tail. What? Let's put this point three. It should be enough. Just for finish, uh, finishing. I'm just gonna move this under setup. This also under setup and we don't need to see this thing and also we don't need to see the joints so i'm just gonna hide the joints and um, yeah that's it now we are good to go we have the tail we have the ik system and the tail doesn't stretch at all so we can now place nice position there something like that and this should move nicely
Okay, thank you for listening. See you in the next video. Bye bye.